today we're going to work on the box model Dave's Burgers project. Number one, you go through Dave's Burgers menu item roughly from top to bottom. Let's begin with styling the nav element containing the logo and navigation elements. Set the width of the image to 180 pixels. Center the image horizontally using the margin property. So this is the index.html file. And here is the section they're referring to, nav, image, there it is, and the menu, nutrition, order, locations are right here. So we're going to go to style CSS and find nav image, and we're going to set the width to 180 pixels. Center the image horizontally using the margin property. I'm going to check the hint. To center using the margin property, set the top and bottom margins to zero and use auto for left and right margins like so. Selector, margin, zero, auto. So we're going to do that. Margin, zero, auto. Let's save. We have some change here. Number two, set margin of span elements inside the nav to 10 pixels on the top and bottom and zero pixels on the left and right. You can use the margin property with two values listed to set vertical top and bottom and horizontal left and right margins in one declaration. Selector, margin, then first, top and bottom, second refers to left and right. So we're going to go to nav, span, margin, first one is 10 pixels, and second one is 0 pixels. That's done, let's save. Now set some rules for the element with the class content. This element is a container for all the elements not included in nav. Set the height to 500 pixels. So we're going to find the class content, so there it is, dot content, and we're going to set the height to 500 pixels. Create 10 pixel vertical margins and automatic horizontal margins. So we're going to create margin, 10 pixels and auto. Set dot body elements inside dot content to have no vertical margin and automatic horizontal margin so that it is centered. Here we're going to find content and body and we're going to do a margin with no vertical margin so zero and automatic horizontal margin. Let's save. Number four, with a 500 pixel height for dot content, some elements will overflow out of its box if the browser window is made too small. Make dot content scrollable with the overflow property. Resize the browser window so it's very skinny and notice that the section is now scrollable. Okay, so we're gonna add overflow scroll and save. Now it's time to tackle the dot header and its h1 text, barbecue bacon burger. Set the height of the dot header class to 320 pixels. So let's find dot header, which corresponds to this part, and we're going to do height 320 pixels. Create a 20 pixel padding for the h1 element inside the dot header dot header h1 it's down here and we're going to create a padding of 20 pixels next set vertical margins to 0 pixels and the horizontal margins to be determined automatically for the same h1 element so we're going to do a margin 0 
and auto. Let's save. Number six, now add some box model formatting to the order now dot button element. As you make each change, make sure to scroll down if necessary to view the effect on the button. Set the width to 200 pixels. So they want us to format this button, order now. And first thing we're gonna add is width to 200 pixels. Padding to 20 pixels, vertical margin of 40 pixels and the horizontal margins to automatic. Give the button a one pixel solid blue border. Border, one pixel, solid, blue. Let's save. And this is how the button looks like. Number seven, finally style the nutrition facts section at the bottom in the element selected with ul.nutrition. Set the padding of the ul.nutrition element to 20 pixels. ul.nutrition padding 20 pixels. Save. Set the width of li elements within the ul.nutrition to 200 pixels. So ul.nutrition li width 200 pixels. Save. Go a little bigger. Set a 10 pixel vertical padding and 20 pixel horizontal padding to the same elements. Padding 10 pixels vertically and 20 horizontal. Add a 3 pixel button margin to the same elements. Margin button 3 pixels. And last one. Good job. This menu item is looking great and the layout and spacing is much more readable. If you like, you can continue refining the design or add your own spin. So here's how this page will look once you're done editing.